hello welcome back to my channel so it is vlogmas day eight and connor has set up a surprise for me for us <laughs> uh but the surprise is for me and woke up this morning he was like okay just wear like comfy clothes and we're gonna go to the surprise so I'm like, uh, okay, where are we going? What do I wear? Do I need to wear makeup? Like, do I need to like look nice? And he's like, no, just like, you know, you can have your hair down and just like be comfortable. So I'm like, all right. So we're leaving the house and I'm like, you, we need the car keys. And he's like, oh yeah, you're right. And then we just walk past the car and he just like starts laughing. So we're walking to whatever the surprise is so it's close and I can't figure out what it is. I thought maybe we were driving to like get pedicures or something. I don't know, but now we are on the way to the surprise. So kicking off Vlogmas Day 8 with some confusion over here. <laughs> I'm excited though, we'll see what it is. You guys will find out the You'll exact like same it. time as me. Like we'll see. some brunch down the street it is what time is it it's two o'clock now so it's later so it's technically lunch but we haven't had breakfast yet so um since we were at the spa which was amazing i can't believe he pulled off that surprise i literally had no idea it was so so nice um if you are local to indy i highly recommend it it's so gorgeous in there and now I want to like buy the lotion that they use because it smells so good. I also need to order a lint roller because, or a lint roller of Amazon because this coat literally attracts every single piece of fuzz. And same with my turtleneck, which I don't think you can see on camera, but I'm in all black fit. We're going to Garden Table and it's one of our favorite spots. It's so good for breakfast and lunch. And they just opened one up in Carmel. So if you are an indie and you're looking for a new location that's closer to you, if you're like more up north, um, they just opened one up in Carmel. And it's so freaking good. I'm really excited. We're gonna get some juice flights. And I don't know what I'm gonna get for my meal, but they have so many good options. I never know. But this is the fit. We're gonna go walk over.
Okay, ignore this mess because that's actually stuff that I need to film. But I wanted to show you guys my moon boots came in and I am obsessed with them. I literally am in love. So I ended up, I showed you guys in the last vlog on Friday that I had ordered the minis in black. And these are the moon boot lows and look how freaking cute they are like i am obsessed i'm going to be wearing these they're like not focusing obsessed i'm gonna be wearing these all the time they are so cute they're actually so light i thought they were gonna be really heavy just because usually winter boots are very heavy and these are so light so i love these i'm really glad i ended up getting the black too because everyone was saying in like my dms everyone was saying like oh i have the white ones like they got really dirty really fast or get the black they just look like you can just wear them so much more and like with so many different things so i'm really glad i ended up getting the black and um i feel like the tall ones like just would have been too much just I don't know, I feel like I could style more with these. So I'm really glad I got these. I will put these in the description below. And I ended up getting the size, what size did I get? I ended up getting the 39 to 41, which was like, I'm a size 10, 10 and a half in shoes. So that was my foot size. And basically it's like, you're either getting a small, medium or medium large in the shoe. So if you have a bigger foot, get the bigger like size frame. Um, and then if you have a smaller foot, obviously you'll get the smaller option. So I think they only have two options for shoes, but so cute. And then it comes in this little bag, which is nice for traveling. So if they do get like snow on them or get dirty or wet, like you can store them in here um, if you need to when you're traveling and then you can wash them when you get home or just to have a bag to kind of protect them like when you're traveling. So I really like that. These honestly are a great investment. I will say like, I think that that's something that I'm gonna wear every single year and I don't think they're really gonna go out of style. So yeah, love those. And I'm still waiting on a bunch of my stuff that I got off of Amazon to come in. Everything is supposed to come in. I'm supposed to get a couple things tomorrow, but mainly everything's supposed to come in on Monday and Tuesday. So once all that stuff comes in, I'll do like a big haul on here. And um, yeah, I'll do a haul on that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that order. Oh, the other boots. Okay, I totally forgot that I hadn't opened these yet. together and I don't have scissors so we're gonna attempt I'm just like trying not to break a nail or have I'm sorry I can't even break a nail but I can pop them off because they're fake so I guess that would be not as bad but okay oh my god they're so cute. I was gonna do this on my TikTok. Honestly, I might end up putting this like an unboxing on my TikTok too because these are so cute. So these are those Walmart boots that I also put on my last vlog that I had purchased and they came in so fast. So Walmart is like on their game right now, on their A game. And basically, I can't remember when or how many years ago, but Chloe, the designer, did a collab with Moonboo and they have these boots that are so cute. They're like five to six hundred dollars and I just can't bring myself to spend that much on boots for just the winter time. So I got the dupes and look how freaking cute they are. I'm actually in love. Like I can't believe these are from Walmart. So instead of 600, they were like 65 or 66 dollars, and yeah, I haven't tried them on obviously because I just took them out of the bag. But like, I love the coloring. It's like a really, really thick beigey color, and then I also I love the strings. These are like identical. 
these strings like are identical to like the Chloe ones, but so cute. I really hope they're not sold out, um, but I feel like they'll restock them because they got really, really popular. Like a lot of people were starting to catch on to these. So Walmart's got some good finds. I might start like looking more at Walmart, like at their new arrivals and things because they've got some good stuff. Yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna finish cleaning up in here. I don't have the lights on in here because I just have like our two like extra lights. That's why it's like so dim because when all the lights are on it honestly kind of just like gives me a headache. So once I get the bulbs chained out, changed out then i'll start turning on all the lights but i ordered new bulbs because connor and i have just been talking about how like here i'm gonna turn them on so you guys can see what i mean like what is this it's literally so bright in here that it's like blue it's literally so bright in here that it has a blue tint so we're gonna go with the more orangey, <laughs> dark vibe. And this is just much more relaxing. So once I get the bulbs changed out, then I'll start turning the lights all the way on. But until then, I'm not, I'm not about to be stressed out by the lights in my bedroom. So we're going to watch some Yellowstone, aren't we, Moosey? We're gonna watch some Yellowstone, huh? So I'm going to make some hot chocolate. I'm going to use one of our Halloween cups because that's all I have. I'm going to use oat milk because it makes it so creamy. So I'm just going to... Oh, that's all of it. This is the hot chocolate I'm going to use from Crate and Barrel. It's just the milk chocolate. We didn't get the salted caramel one. So we're gonna use this one. Because we ran out of the other one. Oh my gosh, this one is so hard to open. Okay. Oh, there's two packets. Okay, so it just comes with like little packets. And it's just so easy to scoop it out. This one is whisk three tablespoons of chocolate into one cup of hot milk. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Moose, what are you doing? He does this anytime in the kitchen. He'll lay on my feet. You're <laughs> so funny. Okay, what's so nice about this hot chocolate is, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's all chocolate shavings instead of powder. So nice. This would be a really good gift if you are needing something for like a coworker or just somebody who you really don't know what to get them. I feel like most people like hot chocolate or like even um, if you're looking for a gift for like a teacher or something this would be a really good gift or like a like a secret Santa this would be a cute gift for the holidays because it's not like you don't need to have it I mean I feel like it's good for all of winter time because who doesn't like hot chocolate Okay, I wish I still haven't gotten any marshmallows, but that's okay. This will still taste really good. And it comes in this just super cute can, so you can just keep it. It's actually would be really cute to display too if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna put it away. Moment of truth. It's good. That's really good. That's really creamy. I will say I think I like the the salted caramel 
cocoa more than the regular milk chocolate. Oh my gosh, did you really <laughs> accident outside um i will say i like the salted caramel cocoa option more than the milk chocolate but the milk chocolate is still really good i feel like it would be really good with marshmallows i think that would just seal the deal but yeah that's just my opinion that's just just my little two cents on that really really good Making a quick trip to Whole Foods. Can we park here? Oh, I thought it was reserved parking for this. Oh, for the square. Um, we're making a quick trip to Whole Foods because we need a couple of things. We're making quesadillas, so I'm gonna get some goods for it. A little Christmas trees. <gasps> oh, I want some. A little tree for moose. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Okay, so we just got home, so I thought I would do a grocery haul because we got quite a bit of stuff. Um, some more than we were expecting to. But we ended up, um, we wanted to try some of this tortellini. So we got this spinach and cheese tortellini, some feta cheese for avocado toast, avocado for tonight, and for some toast tomorrow. We got a couple of, Connor grabbed these, um, these Kite Hill protein, it looks like, I think it's yogurt. Yeah, protein yogurt. Got some guac, kiwi, strawberries, and pico some oat and almond milk from the Califia brand that's really good, pepper for tonight, bananas for smoothies, salsa, this is the salsa that I got last time, it's really, really good. Um, all of these juices that I told you guys about in the last vlog that I did a grocery haul in, these are my favorite. Connor gets these ones all the time, and I don't know if we've had these ones before, but. We'll try those. Got some micro arugula for avocado toast, spinach. These are really good. These super greens veggie burgers. Um, you could have them like plain or we like to have them on the side with our eggs. They're really good, like kind of mashed up. It kind of looks gross, but it tastes really good. Um, got some uh, rice cakes, regular uh, brown rice, and then also the cinnamon toast one. I'll put peanut butter on those. That's would be really good, like a sweet treat. Got the Sweet Lawrence chocolate chip cookies. These are the best cookies ever. They are so good. Get these if you're looking for a good cookie. And then eggs and some flour tortillas for tonight.